Hey Lennies, welcome back to the channel. It's been a while since we've done a routine video. In fact, our last night routine was four years ago. Can you believe it? So I'm really excited to show you guys how Lennon and I typically spend our evenings as of 2021. Also, I wanted to let you know that the song featured at the end of this video is a song I wrote and recently released. It is available on all platforms. Please subscribe, like, and hit the bell for unlimited cute bunny content. So we'll start this at around 6.30. In LA during September, it's still light out, but we get the most beautiful, vibrant sunsets at this time. I'm usually editing or working and Lennon will creep out from under the couch where she's been sleeping for several hours because it's her dinner time. You can actually see how strong the golden hour is. Our whole kitchen just has such lovely lighting right now. As many of you know, Lennon gets a handful of organic baby spring mix for dinner. So around seven-ish, Lennon will wait for a treat like clockwork. She just sits by the counter where she knows the treat jar resides full time. She just stares at you intently, manipulatively waiting like a predator stalking its prey. So she can see me approaching her and she is just excited. Her heart is palpitating. As you can see, she's an addict who can't contain herself. I mean, she's doing tricks, acting like she'll do anything for me, like I've been starving her. And then she gets her treat. I'll be honest with you guys, I try not to eat dinner nowadays. I just don't like eating late at night. And sometimes I'll cook, sometimes I'll eat out. It really just depends how much time I have. But for the sake of this video, I am gonna cook a nutritious meal for myself using the very sparse ingredients I could find in my fridge. I then spend much of my night continuing to work until I'm sleepy. I'm really bad at telling myself when to stop, which is something I need to work on. I've become a real bath lady ever since moving into this apartment. It's just my favorite way to unwind. Oh, I make sure that the bubbles are popping left and right. And relax guys, I'm wearing a bikini. I'm keeping it G-rated for you. So I do the whole body scrub thing. I really pamper myself and then I just rest because it's just the best way for me to decompress after sitting at the computer all day. Honestly, I never thought the day would come that I'd be taking a bath on camera, but what can I say? Desperate times call for desperate measures, am I right? So here I'm putting on this matcha mud mask that I've been using the past year. I love this thing to death and I'll link it in the description. I also put on an under eye mask for about 10 minutes. As you can see, I'm really making the best of this bath. While I'm bathing, Lennon will usually run some errands of her own. She might eat her psychotropes, use the litter box, munch on hay, 
groom herself or just lounge around the house. So since I've gotten a TV for the first time in my adult life, Lennon and I make it a point to try and watch movies during our downtime. Usually I'm too sleepy to finish the whole movie though. I always wind up becoming an emotional wreck over whatever I'm watching. Around 11, Lennon gets her last meal of the day, and she usually lets me know, again, like clockwork, that she's ready. Oh, she'll wait for me at the fridge until I get off my butt to go feed her. Before I get to bed, I make sure her water bowl is rinsed out and refilled. I also refill her litter box with the utmost hay to last her through the night. Typically, I'll plop Lennon on the bed as we both wind down. Not gonna lie, I spend this time watching YouTube videos or crying over emotionally unavailable men. To help me fall asleep, I will listen to interviews or motivational slash therapeutic advice. And I also talk to Lennon and have a final cuddle session with her before I completely turn out the lights. Lennon gets one last treat, I call it her midnight snack, and then I say goodnight. We do have to sleep separately because otherwise she would probably wake me up a lot. But let's be honest, who knows what mischief she gets into throughout the night. So that's it for our fall 2021 night routine. I hope you all enjoyed this little sneak peek into our life. Our question of the day is, where is your rabbit's favorite place to sleep? Comment below. Thank you.